Welcome back, everybody, once again for another episode of Friendly Fire. PCS3 is well underway, and teams are fighting to claim the final prize of 2020, the PCS3 North American Championship. On today's episode, we have the men behind the boys. On the one hand, we have Trevor from Oath, and on the other, we have Sologic from Sonic, the coaches behind the players. Man, how are you doing today? Doing good, Poro. Doing pretty good. Good to see you. All right, so Logic, right off the bat, Sonics is in the lead. They've been pretty comfortable at 100-point week in the first week, but Oath, a little bit slow to start. Logic, what do you think was the problem behind Oath being a grower and not a shower? I feel like Oath had a, a bit, bit of a slow start, but, you know, as, as always, we know how capable they are, but, you know, we, we're always questioning, can they put it together to chase us at the top? Trevor, Logic is giving you guys a lot of credit uh, and saying that uh, you are clearly a capable squad, but uh, he doesn't seem to be too intimidated. Why should Sonics be scared that Oath have now finally started climbing in the leaderboards? I think Sean, you know, he framed it lightly because he knows we're coming and he's scared of it for sure. And uh, I think that shows on Sunday we had a 75 point day. But, you know, we hold a lot of respect for those guys over there in their camp, and uh, but we're coming. Logic, if you and Trevor found each other in a 1v1, who takes it? As of right now, it'd probably probably be Trevor, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> but, I mean, get, get, let, let, if we could take it back, probably me. If, if, we, if we were in a competitive well, we stage. We career earnings if we want to. But, you know, <laughs> I mean, uh, you could refer to career earnings. We could also look at... Oh, it won't uh, be career. high for either of us, but mine will be Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Trevor, I know that Oath has a couple of the younger boys in the league. What is it like to uh, to have to coach that squad when you've got uh, some little uh, seven, eight, 18, 19 year olds running around all crazy, uh, looking at, at Fortnite and Travis Scott Happy Meals all day? Those who you know they stop doing, they they, they teach, and uh, and try to impart some wisdom on my young ones. And uh, I think it's just a, a process of just earning their respect, and then once I have their respect, it goes both ways. And uh, we learn from that together. I want to make sure that your players know that you're still 100% committed to them. So, Logic, tell me why you would never in a million years want to coach Snakers. No, he's Snakers. I mean, he, he is a bright kid, but I feel like, you know, his mouth might just go off. I remember hearing a quote from, from Trevor where he said uh, he got shot three times by Tableton, and he said, if there's any other player... And like, like, like in reaction of that, and you know, I feel like maybe, you know, like his, his mouth might get the better of him one day. That's tough stuff. That is true. Uh, Trevor, why would you never, ever want to have to coach Shrimzy? Well, I played with Shrimzy, you know, I was on a team with him. So I know everything there is to know about that guy. And uh, he's, he can be an emotional fella. You know, he, he, he carries his emotions on his sleeve and. You know, I've even got some DMs when they make a bad play and he'll be like, do you remember this play we used to do? And then he'll be, you know, molding at me in DMs about something his team's doing. So there's no uh, clear bias like there is on the caster desk, you know, where all we hear about is SDK. Oh, right. Yeah, totally. Even though my team has oh, been, you know, we've had three, ma we've had three oh, major man. events this year in North America and my Oath has finished higher than SDK in two out of three of those. Oh, but SDK is clearly the superior team. Yeah, well, you know, they've done a little bit more since Charity Showdown. Sorry, uh, sorry, oh, sorry. We're like focusing just, in like on the, the two hundred something point team that's averaging ten kills per game. Trev, <laughs> oh, I mean, really apologize can, for that one. Or you can be group stage warriors. Yep. That's fine. Yep. You know, when yep. it, they they did it in the last group stage too. And where did they finish? Behind Sean and I's team. So, <laughs> oh yeah, you got a point there. Yeah. Hey man, can't, can't be can't be the can't real be going show out is coming up. Groups. The real show is coming up next month. Look at this. Much like in real life, uh, or in the actual games, now that Gunner's not here to defend himself, everybody's teaming up on STK, so they don't want to. They don't want to go to get some. Well, at least head, Sonic's. But, uh, uh, you know, at least Sonic's had the uh, the wherewithal to move their OC player to North America to make it a fair competition. Oh yeah, because he can't ping abuse, right? Yeah, that's that, that's that's a terrible idea. So right now, according to the stats book, Sonic's have two in the top five kill leaders. They have two in the top five knock leaders and two in the top five damage leaders. Trevor, how come Oath doesn't have any players up there at all? You know, we're we're team players, you know? We've had to kind of reform our identity and uh, we've been trying some new stuff out and that's what the group stage is for, Poro. 
Logic, do the Sonics take the group stages kind of like uh, glorified scrims just because you're that confident that you're going to make it to the top 16 in grand finals? I was the one that actually laid out that ideology. So, you know, I told them, you know, whenever it took t came into the team that, you know, we need to take every single game as a learning experience and that, you know, like the, the real matches where we would, you know, like show our hands of any kind would be on, on the finals. And, you know, we did that last finals and we ended up winning a championship. And right now, STK is just dumpstering both of you. Fantastic. And that's very exciting warriors. stuff. Yeah, man, they're, they're showing up here right now. So group Stay stages warriors. are important, man. Uh, yeah, they can you know win their five thousand dollars or whatever, but you know, <laughs> we have the eye on we have the eye on the bigger prize. Right, right. They can take what they can get. So logic. Travis talking about his team working more as a team and less uh, less a collective of individuals. Is uh, that the case for Sonics? Because I feel like th that's a bunch of individual really strong players that kind of go off and do their own thing sometimes. But are you guys still running as a team, or is it just a whole bunch of uh, Superman out there doing their own thing? I think it's definitely a collective effort, you know, like last PCS we ended up with four people in the top five assists overall, so, you know, their, their workability with t together is actually actually pretty insane. Okay, so it's time for predictions. Tell me why your team is going to win PCS3 Grand Finals Championship Logic. So for us, you know, we, we want we want to make a repeat and I think we were making a pretty, seri pretty serious case somewhat right now, you know, like, you know. Group stage is group stage, but you know the real the real show happens whenever the sixteen teams are set, and when when that happens, you know my players turn into dogs, and we will literally be just digging for every single point everywhere, and we are we are here to go back to back. Meanwhile, Trevor, the Oath Boys, are they ready to square up for a book ending twenty twenty with a charity win and a PCS three grand finals win? You know, if the uh, the script in NA is correct, you know, all three big teams have won one, so I think we're back up now. And uh, not only off of that, you know, we brought Pat Caps in, you know, we had a big roster change last uh, tournament, and we finished second. We're proud, but, you know, we've put a lot of work in. I think we've shown a lot of growing stages here. You know, Rello's our main caller now, and he's come a long way. And now he's, if you check the stats last weekend, he's learned how to frag and call. So uh, he's back, and we're ready to rock and roll, and I think this is our time. I want both of you to commit right now that whichever team finishes higher on the leaderboard at the end of the PCS3 Grand Finals, the other guy has to make a congratulatory video giving props to the other squad. And I mean, I'm talking serious, like my, like just worship video. I want a K-pop stan level type video uh, for the other guy. Uh, will, will you commit to this? Are you willing to do that for us? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> well, I don't know if I'd have a problem doing that. I think, you know, I, I put out a congratulatory tweet last time, you know. Like I said, I got a lot of respect for the Sonics. You know, Tri Bizzle was my first manager in esports, you know, on the original Team Gates. I've teamed with Shrimzy, and I've known Sean since a similar time. So, sure. Ah, yes. Let's do it. There Sean? we go, Sean. Let's make it happen. Let's do it. That's what I like to see. Commitment. All right. Thank you guys so much for joining us once again, and good luck getting to that final group stage. I think you both have it pretty much in the bag at this point, but uh, one more week to go, right? One more week. Farm some bonuses. One more week of having to show up. Did you want to give any shout outs on your way out, Logic? I want to give a shout out to the Sonics for their, their relentless support in this team, and I want to give a, give a shout out for Trevor to come, you know, constantly put, put like, you know, we're constantly pushing together. And uh, give a shout out to my players. You know, you guys are the best. There you go, Trevor. You got anybody you want to shout out on your way out? Uh, yeah, I want to shout out Oath. You know, supporting us and shout out to Sean. You know, like you said, we've been doing a lot of content together lately and pushing each other in that direction. And of course, shout out to uh, my team. I know they're working hard. I guess I'll give a shout out to Poro. You know, he keeps putting up with us and. Uh, Yay! Hopefully, That's hopefully, me. you know, my selective hearing goes away and I hear a little more love on the cast. <laughs> uh, we'll see alright well there you have it thanks so much guys for joining me once again and good luck going into this final week but uh, best of luck to Machine Gunner USMC and SDK that's going to do it for this edition of Friendly Fire let us know in the comments who you think won and who you would like to see in the future but until then we'll see you next time